Hey folks, Professor Paul here, and we're going to talk about hybrid holster problems. And you're like, hybrid holster problems? Yes, the ubiquitous hybrid holster. This is a Crossbreed Super Tuck. This is the holster that spawned a thousand imitators. Crossbreed came up with this about 10 years ago, maybe nine and a half at this time. And now there's dozens upon dozens of people making holsters that are very, very similar to this one. The problem with that is that because they become popular, uh, there's a lot of cheap imitations that are made very, very poorly. They don't hold up. But let's say you've got one that is good, that is a quality holster like this one. I have a good friend who is a, uh, he owns a training school and he hates these holsters. And I was like, why do you hate those holsters? I've been wearing one for three, going on four years now, every single day, and I don't have a problem with it. He goes, people show up with these things. He goes, they, they draw the guns, the holsters come out, they can't get their guns back into them. He said, they're just a big pain in my butt. All right. And I thought about that and I said, well, here's one of, here's my hypothesis why that is. Number one, why do the holsters come out when you draw them? Either A, they're using them without a belt, without a good belt. The, the clips are either cheap, crappy plastic or they're metal clips that have been bent out. If they're spring steel, you guys, if you've ever used a flashlight or a, uh, a knife with a pocket clip and it's spring steel and you catch it on something and it bends and now it's not springy anymore, uh, what happens is people will either do that, they'll catch these and they'll lose their springiness or what they'll do is they spend all day because these are so cool and convenient, taking them on or taking them off, putting them on, taking them off, putting them on. You're like, what do I mean? Folks, you guys, you know you're out there, some of you. You put this, this on in the morning. You get dressed, you put your holster on, and you're like, oh, rock on, I'm an armed citizen, woohoo! And you, you drive to the post office, and you're like, oh, I gotta go in the post office, and I'm not allowed to bring my gun in there. So what do you do? You fidget around, and you take this whole thing off. You stick it under the seat. You get back in, you put it on. And then you drive, and you do it the rest of your day, and you're like, oh, I need to go into that store, but they have a sign that says no gun, so I'm not gonna carry my gun, so I'll take it off. Or uh, I'm at my office, and I don't really need to have my gun on when I'm at my office, so I'll take it off. And they spend all day taking it off, putting it on, putting it off, taking it on. Stop doing that. Put this on in the morning and leave it that way. Okay? Also, last but not certainly not least, I'm going to talk to you guys about putting your guns back into these holsters. People do all kinds of crazy stuff. That they'll come back and they'll, they'll poke the gun at it until they find it, or, or they'll point it at themselves. Ooh, stop yourself. It's as simple as this. When you have this holster on, it's time to put your gun away. Slowly and methodically come down, come around behind it, and lay the gun in. It's really that easy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hybrid holsters, they're good, they're quality, but you need to A, buy a good one, and B, know what you're doing. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Student of the Gun Homeroom. Make sure that you're listening to the radio show each and every week, watching the TV show, and that you download the mobile app. Hey, it's free, right? You can get it at the Google Play Store or your iTunes Store. And please, leave your comments below.